So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. I say that because it's very short. Simplified questions are typically one to three lines long. This question is about a line and a half. So without reading it, my mind immediately goes into this simplify mode, which just means if there are any functions, equations, expressions, right? We have a function provided here. If I can simplify it, that's where I want my attention to go before I even consider um, solving the question. So the question says, let the function f be defined as, and I'm gonna just write that down because I always write down equations that are provided to me. So f of x equals five, x squared minus seven parentheses four x plus three. Again, because I'm in simplify mode, I don't even continue to read this question. Um, or even if you did continue to read this question and see that it asks what is the value of f of three, I still suggest that first and foremost, you simplify this. So we'd have f of x equals five x squared. Now I can distribute this negative seven across the parentheses. So I'd have minus 20 8x and minus 21. So there's my simplified version of the function. Then I go to solve. The question asked me to find f of 3. Well, f of 3, right, the 3 here replaced the x here, which means the 3 will also replace the x here and here. So f of 3 is equal to 5 parentheses 3 squared minus 28 parentheses 3 and minus 21. So let's continue simplifying this. So 3 squared is 9. 5 times 9 is 45. So this becomes 45 minus 28 times 3. Don't forget you do have a calculator and I do suggest that you use your calculator um, frequently. So 28 times 3 is 84. So I have minus 84 and then minus 21. And I'm going, to just, I'm going to just throw all of this into my calculator. So 45 minus 84 minus 21 is equal to um, negative 60, right? So f of 3 equals negative 60. Since that's what the question was asking me to find, I know that I'm finished. And I find my answer up here, which is choice J. So notice that I didn't look at the answers at all, and this is typical of simplified questions. I didn't look at the answers until the very end, and I'm not right. So I'm not looking to plug this three into the original here. I could do that technically, but just as a force of habit, I think simplification. If you always simplify these short questions first before trying to solve, um, it will tend to lead you down a better and more clear path as the questions get more complicated.